We are in Bahia Tortugas now. Tortuga or Turtle Bay? Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay. Still in Baja California Sur, but already very close to the federal state of Baja California Norte. And we just checked out the town. Well, it's not really a town. It's a um, town. It's so, oh, bigger than a village, huh. smaller than a city. It has uh, a gas station. Huh. It has uh, police headquarters. And it's got more than four Grocery. stores, so it must be a town. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty sunny, pretty hot right now. When we came to our docking station, which was the beach, um, it was pretty cloudy and cold, but it changed a lot during the last hour. So maybe I'm gonna have another jump into the water, into the bay later. Yeah, spring and, spring and early summer, you get what you call June gloom, and the June gloom goes from May gray to June gloom to July Y. Is it still around? Um, but it, it's kind of cold and overcast in the morning. And then just about uh, 10 o'clock to noon, it, uh, the clouds or the overcast, uh, the green layer burns off. And uh, then it gets sunny, and then it warms up, and then the wind starts to blow, and then it cools back down. So that's the, the cycle for the Pacific uh, north of uh, Mexico and the south part of uh, California. And I've heard there's a famous race, the Baja Aja, which also uh, always made, makes the stop here. So what's the Baja Aja? Baja Aja is actually technically not a race, it's a rally. Everybody sort of uh, wants to try to race. Like they said, anytime you have two boats sailing in the same direction, there's a race going on. But it's a rally, a fun rally of uh, about 160 uh, plus boats, uh, maybe 300, 500 people, depending on the mix. But uh, really a lot of people with very little experience sailing and some with many years of experience sailing. But this is their first stop off after they leave San Diego. So it's their first touch of Mexico and it's their first uh, real exposure to real Mexican community rather than the tourist traps you see around so often. Well, Sounds good. Well, let's uh, get back to the boat and start taking the jugs over to fill up with diesel so we can uh, make it to uh, Ensenada. All right, let's go for it. Job has to be done. Either that or row. <laughs> so as we're in cold water now on the Pacific side, first time jumping into the water, just time snorkeling with a wetsuit. Lucky I went to San Diego to Imperial Beach Go for that. That was great! A completely different experience than on the Sea of Cortez. Oh, what was different about it? Well, the water wasn't that clear, it was pretty green. I felt like in a big forest full of trees. The trees were moving back and forth with the swell, myself as well. The first thing I spotted was two lobsters. Oh! And then uh, a couple of, well, pretty huge red or, yeah, red fish swimming around back and forth. And were they red or they orange? More orange than red. Garibaldi. In fact, they're, they're named after the um, Italian patriot who united Italy, Garibaldi, because he wore bright red um, uh, kind of orange shirts. This skirt, this, and so that's where they, that's got Garibaldi you saw. Oh, yeah. So, uh, most Garibaldi. so the whole difference, a uh, whole different world.
stingrays are hiding pretty good. I went over a couple of them, especially a very big one, and I couldn't see it. But well, he noticed me and it ran away pretty fast. <laughs> Another nice little excursion. Nice little dive, a little foggy, but different. Totally uh, a whole different world than the Sea of Cortez. Definitely. No longer tropical. It's uh, what we call a temperate dive. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of uh, wetsuits on, but uh, a whole different way of seeing the ocean um, and a whole different part of the ocean. So it's, it's kind of nice to see the changes. Yeah. Right. Viva la uh, difference. <laughs> I didn't know that so many different greens exist. <laughs> yeah, a lot. The, the uh, plant life here really sets the colors off as opposed to the tropics where it's actually the, the fish themselves and the animals. So it, it is interesting to see the different dynamics. It's still lots and lots of life. The kelp here, the bull kelp is uh, known to be the fastest growing uh, living organism in the world at 18 inches a day. So that's... Uh, that's pretty fast. Well, wow, it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> and right next to it, there's the church of Bahia Tortugas. And over there, the pier, the dock, a very old wooden one. Neat, because nobody really owns this pier because the cannery opened. Railroad ties, have you noticed? I mean railroad um, rails. But the, la but the last section is is owned by someone. They oh, close really? it. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo! Rescuing the boat out of five foot deep water. Evening trip to get our daily beer and Wi-Fi session. Get our fixes of alcohol and info. Exactly. Actually, we already wanted to go to, to the town a couple of hours ago to check out when's mass, but the captain slept too long in the, in the afternoon, so we couldn't go. Wow. Is that true? <laughs> Don't blame me for the, your soul going to hell. <laughs>